Today, we're diving into the world of the C7 Chevrolet Corvette, the seventh generation of this iconic American sports car. Please like and subscribe as we are trying to continue the legacy of internal combustion engine. Cars against all this electrification. Fact number one, Stingray Revival. The C7 marked the return of the Stingray nameplate. It hadn't been used since the early 1970s, paying homage to the second generation Corvette, also known as the Stingray. Fact number two, under the hood, you'll find the mighty LT1 V8 engine. The base model packed a 6.2 liter powerhouse producing 455 horsepower and 460 pounds FT of torque. It was the most powerful standard engine ever in a base Corvette. Fact number three, for those seeking even more power, the C7 Z06 was a beast. It featured a supercharged 6.2 liter V8 engine with a staggering 650 horsepower and 650 pounds FT of torque, making it one of the most powerful production cars of its time. Fact number four, handling was taken to the next level with the optional magnetic ride control suspension. It adjusted the shock absorbers in real time, optimizing both ride comfort and handling performance. Fact number five, if you wanted the wind in your hair, the C7 offered a removable carbon fiber roof panel, giving you a convertible-like experience without sacrificing the structural rigidity of the coupe. Fact number six, active rev matching was a cool feature in the C7. It automatically blipped the throttle during downshifts, giving you smoother and sportier driving, just like a pro driver. Fact number seven, transmission choices included a seven-speed manual and a high-tech eight-speed automatic, catering to both the purists and those who preferred an automatic gearbox, but the automatic was not. A dual clutch like it is in the C8 Corvette. Fact number eight, weight reduction was a priority. The C7 incorporated lightweight materials, including an aluminum frame and carbon fiber body components to reduce weight and improve overall performance. Fact number nine, the C7 Z06's acceleration was mind-blowing. It could go from zero to 60 miles per hour in just 2.95 seconds, making it one of the quickest production cars on the market. The newest C8 Corvette has a quicker 0 to 60 time of 2.6 seconds, which makes the C7 South even more respectable. Fact number 10, last but certainly not least, the track-ready C7 ZR1, introduced in 2019, boasted 755 horsepower, a top speed of over 110 miles per hour, and extensive aerodynamic enhancements, making it a formidable track weapon. Spoiler alert, there have been pictures and photos of the new C8 ZR1 spotted around the Nürburgring track in Germany. We will have a video out when Chevrolet releases it, popping up our two videos. One on the iconic C3 Chevrolet Corvette, which personally is my favorite Corvette ever. And the C4 Corvette, which is really underrated and has some fun features and quirks of its own. Please like and subscribe as we are trying to continue the legacy of internal combustion engine. Cars against all this electrification.